Greetings, CCISD. This is Carrie Perales, and I'm at the beautiful Cunningham at South Park Middle School. And today, we get to feature students and teachers in the area of mathematics. Today, we have... Uh, Mrs. Jasmine Enriquez Rodriguez. And? Hi, I'm Sonal Cooper. And we are Getting, Getting to, to the, the core. core. Thank you guys for being here today. I'm so excited. I've heard great things about Cunningham at South Park, especially in the area of math. So let's just kick it off with that. What is math like here at Cunningham uh, South Park? I think it I think it's pretty good. We have a really good math program, whether it's in like tutoring, honors, or just math regular. I think sometimes math can be challenging, but our teachers always know how to explain it to us, like explain to a certain student like the way they can understand or to a certain extent. Awesome. And what about you? So it makes me feel amazing that my student, you know, expresses how she feels and I'm hearing this. Um, I know with Carnegie Learning, we had just started last year, and last year was also my first year as a wow. teacher, so it was kind of challenging at first, but I gained a lot of support from not just my teacher staff, but also my students. They oh, built that confidence. that's great. That collaboration between teacher and student is amazing if you can make that work. Oh, yes. What about parents? I know, you know, sometimes parents may not know what math is like these days. I know when my son brings stuff home, he's in, uh, he's a seventh grader at CAFI. And sometimes I'm like, son, you're on your own. I don't even know <laughs> where to go with this. So how do you help parents that are like, I let parents know, like, I have tutoring mostly Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, um, especially with STAR coming up. We mm -hmm. have tutorings on Mondays and Wednesdays, and I'm here probably till like, 6 p.m., 7 p.m. sometimes. So I'm letting them know, like, I'm here. Whatever they need, I will send screenshots of how to work things out in emails or text messages, whatever they prefer. Nice. So, I mean, I try my best to get with their schedule and, you know, flex with their ability. Great. And then do your parents ever ask you about math, or are you pretty good at math? I think sometimes I can fall behind in mafia because I might get stuck on a workspace where I have to close on my rings. And if you mess up or like get the question wrong, if you consistently get it right, it closes. So it may take me a while and I may use it all the period. And my teacher grades Matthew, so my mom was like, how come you have this grade? Like, oh, what's going on? so she on? checks in. Yeah. Awesome. So it's always like, what are you doing? I have to say, I love that you can speak the language of Matthew. Like, she was able to describe all the components, so it yes. shows it's truly implemented. So that's really cool. Um, do you feel like it's helped you this year? Like, do you feel growth in math? I think it has because sometimes we get on the workspaces and we just go and do it and from our workspace we just like keep on going right and we get to the we get to a further part in our in our lesson so whenever my teacher teaches it we already know what to do and we pick it up really fast i think it helped me a lot this year good awesome and then what do you how do you feel about mathia I, uh, this year i feel stronger about it good. very much stronger good. um when i look at our data it i i notice the ones that have actually progressed in mathia and their workspaces their scores are higher Oh, on their, nice. Yes, on their CBAs or their mock math. So you actually see a correlation that students that are really diving in and, and completing the Mathia workspaces correctly are actually yes. showing success. Definitely. Wow, that's amazing to hear. It is, yes. So let's talk about math lessons, because I know when I was school, I had my favorite math lessons. Are there any, for both of you, are there any math lessons that you're like, oh, this is a really good one? This is probably for my student, because I love math. Okay. <laughs> I, think, I think I really like the one we're working on right now with oh. simple interest and compound interest. I think, I we just started working on it yesterday, and it's a breeze for me. I really like it. It's <laughs> really easy. If I have my reference chart, I'll do pretty good with it. I love that. I love that. I love how confident you are. That's amazing. And yes. then you say you love math, so you I like do. them all, huh? I, I do. I really don't have a specific area. Maybe I maybe volume and surface area, but I do love simple and compound interest. Like she said, we started getting into that yesterday because it's more of that real world yes. buying a house or a car. So I'm like, y'all, this you're gonna use this. <laughs> I wish they had that. They didn't have that when I was in school, and so I believe me, I wish they would have had it because I would have been made better choices. If they <laughs> I, I agree, and I explain that to my students. So I'm like, y'all, y'all are gonna need this because I use this, and I know if y'all want to buy a house, and they tell me like, yeah, I want to buy this huge house or I want to buy this kind of car. I'm like, okay, well, you're gonna use this simple interest or compound interest. What about collaboration? Now you have to collaborate with fellow students in your classroom and you collaborate with teachers. Tell me about how collaboration happens here at Cunningham at South Park. In our classroom, we are all set into groups. Okay. Maybe it's two, maybe it's three, maybe it's four, it just depends. And I think that the group that I'm in, I could really trust my peers to help me with the work that I 
that I'm going off of because, and I can also help them because we all understand it together. And if one of us is falling behind, we'll recognize and we'll say like, hey, do you need help? Like this is how you do it and stuff. Okay, very cool. And what about you with just your teachers? With my teachers, I felt um, amazingly confident with my teachers. Like I said, last year was my first year. Wow. So I was constantly asking questions. I'm like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to annoy y'all with <laughs> questions, and I'm sorry, but I would rather know something yes, than not know something. you have to, yeah. And I tell my students the same. If y'all don't know something, ask, because the worst I could say is no, and right. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but I asked a lot of questions last year, and I'm still asking questions, like, today. So... I well, mean, every day good. we learn something new. Yes, collaboration is just so important because if you can feel very isolated in the classroom by yourself if you don't go out there and then you could be doing something wrong, teaching something wrong. Yes. So it's very important to collaborate. Well, thank you guys very much. Before you go, I kind of want to know, what's your goal? What's your goal for math? I know we have a big test coming up, so that's one thing that's on all, everybody's minds, yes. right? But what are your goals beyond the test for math? I think just to really understand it and help others understand especially because mm. I don't want to see any of my – because I have some friends in that class and that I'm in, and I don't ever want to see them fall behind and them getting stuck or held back or have to go to summer school just because they wouldn't listen or didn't ask for help. You are fantastic. You, you are a great student and friend and peer. Wow. I want to also acknowledge that she does step up and she will tell someone, okay, if you need help, I'm going to help you out. And she will not just give them the answer, but she'll explain the steps on how to get wow. the answer. Oh, future teacher. Yes, she'll go, she'll go up to the board too. I'll be like, does anyone? And she's the first one. I got this, miss. Oh, I love that. I love that. Do you have any tips for your students or just students in general? Because this will go out to everyone. Um, Please listen to your teachers. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. We've, I'm, I know I sound like a broken record and she could vouch for it that I'm just always on them but it's tough love like and mm -hmm. I tell them it's tough love like I really want to see them succeed in life and you know maybe years down the road they'll come as doctors or lawyers or their dream job or entrepreneurs or whatever successful careers they're planning to do so I mean y'all can do it I yes. know y'all can I and believe in y'all math is in everything so yes. it's so important to learn well, you guys are awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much for spending some time with Thank Seth and I. Us. Yes, this was really fun. So thank you. And that's it for Getting to the Core. All right. So I have the both of you alone without your teachers. <laughs> no, they seem to be amazing. And your principal is amazing yes. as well. So I thought we'd just chat. So tell me what it's like to be a Cunningham at South Park student. And if there's any shout outs that you want to do. I think it can be hard because we do have a reputation of people saying that we're not the best school because of all the stuff that has happened or all these rumors that's going around. But I think if everybody steps up, we could really show everybody that we are a good school and we're not what y'all put us out to be. Okay. Do you have anything to say? Uh, yes. As a Cunningham South Park student, as my first year here, it's a, it's a nice school, you know. There's nice kids, you know. There's also bad kids. But even though we're all together still. Awesome. So you're a community here. Yes. Are there any teachers that you feel that really do a good job of helping you guys out, setting the tones, setting a positive culture? Yes. Uh, my reading teacher, my social studies teacher, and my math teacher, they're really good. Awesome. Which is Ms. Salas, Ms. Del Bosque, and Ms. V. Oh, and my avid teacher, Ms. Zambrano. Awesome. And what it, what is it about them that just makes you say that they are you know doing a great job miss ala she she's very strict on us but she loves us to where it's like tough love but she doesn't let us quit she doesn't she doesn't want us to see us fail she wants to see us thrive Ooh, i love that yes and what about you i think my science teacher my avid teacher too and my math teacher i think they I know it can be hard being a teacher because you have a, a, whole, a whole bunch of kids throughout the whole entire year. And I think they really push me to the, be the best I can. And I've never seen any of my teachers ever give up on me. Nice. Well, and it's good to know that there's somebody that has your back and we're all here to learn so that you can grow. And I love the word that you use, thrive. Yes. That's the whole purpose is to thrive. Awesome. Anything else you want to share? Um, I don't know. I think Nothing so. else? All right. I think that's it then.